when the smoke cleared from the riots triggered by Mark Duggan's shooting. Uncomfortable questions for the police emerged. The official report warned that police behaviour, particularly with stop and search, had had a corrosive effect on community relations. Senior officers promised to learn lessons. After the riots, Scotland Yard set itself a target to improve public confidence in the force by 20% by 2016. So here in Tottenham, where it all began, do people think that tensions have eased? People are still um, thinking that there's not any change on the streets with, with regards to round stop and search. They still think they're being, tar black youngsters still think they're being targeted unjustly. While many in the borough would say nothing excuses the riots and stop and search helps keep them safer, it's not hard to find people who resent the way police conduct themselves here. If they see the youths on the street, they will just stop, search them, question them and just arrest them for no reason, innit? Just discrimination, innit? Like how I'm just now. They'll probably just think I'm a gang member or something. From my personal experience with the police and living in Tottenham, I don't feel that they do their job to protect society. I wouldn't feel trusted, like, I wouldn't trust the police to take care of something for me. There is a sense of deja vu with all this. An inquiry into the 1981 Brixton riots blamed disproportionate use of stop and search. An independent report on Tottenham's Broadwater Farm riots in 1985 blamed racist policing. Senior officers promised improvements then as now. This is a job that's never finished, uh, but there's been some positive steps since the publication of our report, specifically around a refocus on uh, relationships with communities, a, a look at uh, stop and search and how those uh, activities are conducted. So that's encouraging, uh, but as people recognise, there's more to be done. The Met has adopted stricter stop and search criteria. This training video is being updated to emphasise the importance of courtesy during such incidents. Power for stop and search must be used fairly, responsibly and with respect. And Scotland Yard says they'll issue armed units with body cams, technology credited with dramatic reductions in violence and complaints. Tonight, the senior officer for Tottenham had this message for the community. We totally uh, sympathise with, with the family. Our sympathies go out to the family. We are here, I'm here, the Met's here. We want to engage with local communities. We want to stretch our hand out to the family. We want to work together. There's some excellent work that's already gone on. We don't want to lose that. We want to build upon that for the future. With emotions running high in some quarters, the next 48 hours may be a test of what progress has been made in community and police relations here.